Hello, 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 my fellow superstars. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back on the scene and I'm here to bring you another tutorial. This one is going to be based on the ColourPop Cabana Club palette. And I wanted to try something bright and colorful, even though we're in the midst of winter. But there's no nothing ever wrong with color, so let's begin. I'm going to start off doing my brows with my favorite all-time brow pencil ever, which is the Morphe Brow Pen in the color Java. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up those brows and make them as sharp as it gets too nice with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealers in the shades Tan Walnut and Deep Cinnamon. Um, I use Tan Walnut for under my brows and I use Deep Cinnamon to cut above my brows so that I won't get that halo effect and that shade will match the color of my skin. After blending out my concealer, I'm now going in with my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. And this is in the shade 2. And then I'm going to buff that out. I'm trying out a new brush by Essence Cosmetics. It's their short blender brush. And I'm going to go into my palette and I'm picking up the shade Raton or Raton. I guess you can say that. It's Raton. That's how I say it. And I'm going to use that as a transition color over my lid. Now I'm going in with the shade Take It Easy and I'm going to blend that slightly below the transition into the crease. I'm going to grab this beautiful orangey pearly shade called Copa Beauty in this palette and I'm going to go ahead and center that in the middle of my lid and I'm going to blend it into the crease color and take it over almost maybe a little over one third of the outer eye. I love this beautiful shade in this palette. It's called Bahama Mama. I'm picking this up with my MAC 242 brush and I'm going to apply that on the outer third of my lid and I'm slightly blending it into the Copa Cutie. I'm picking up this beautiful brown matte shade called Throw Shade in the palette and I'm going to apply that to the outer third of my eye, slightly blending it into Bahama Baba. I'm also blending that shade up into the crease area and then I'm going to diffuse it out over into the crease area. I'm taking my Morphe M562 brush. It's a small little blender brush and I'm just going in between that Bahama Mama and Throw Shade and I'm just diffusing those colors softly into each other. Now I'm going back into the palette to pick up Lime Light. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like really bright golden shade. And I'm going to use that to go into the inner third of my eye and apply this into the tear ducts and then I'm going to blend it out into Copa Cutie. This shade right here is called High Season, and I'm going to use this to put into my brow bone area and blend that out. Now, Cha 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 is one of those standout colors in this palette. It's like a matte purple. I went ahead and I applied that along my lower lash line, to which I didn't include because I lost the clip somehow. But I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with one of my favorite liquid liners that I own. And it is by Essence Cosmetics and it's their eyeliner pen. 
and it's the fine tip pen that I'm using to line my lashes with, my upper lid with. This has fast become one of my favorite mascaras ever. This is also by Essence Cosmetics and it is their Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara in the shade Black. It goes on super dark, it's really dramatic and pretty, and I love the formula. It doesn't clump and it lengthens and separates each lash and it's just amazing. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, pop on my lashes by Kiss. This is my favorite by them from the Big Cathedral Collection called Iris. And right here, I'm just pressing my lashes together so that they can blend into each other. Oh my God, I have become obsessed with this face primer. This is by Milk Cosmetics and this, it is their Hydro Grip Primer Base Adhesive. But I tell you, this stuff is so amazing. It has a sticky feel to it, a sticky base to the skin to where your foundation just grips and clings to your foundation and it lasts all day. I mean, like seriously, this primer is the bomb. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Light Airbrush Finish 24 Hour Transfer Resistant Foundation. I know that was a lot to say, but this is in the shade Toasted Almond, which is number 870, and I'm using my Japanese blender to blend it all in. Y'all know the drill is my favorite. I use my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Sand to highlight my face. I love this stuff. I've also been medic about using this to set my highlighted areas too and this is my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 30 which is my shade medium deep. I'm setting the rest of my face with Black Radiance's True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey Moon. I have been stuck on this for almost a year now. And hands down, for my mama, this stuff sets my face so flawlessly. And then after that, I'm going in with my bronzed um, tanner, which is from Juvia's Place, to contour my face. I like to do powder contour now. Um, I used to do a cream contour but I find it to be a little heavy, so I like to do go lighter with my contour down, so I just do powder over my foundation now. I also like to use the lighter contour shade in the palette so that I can contour my um, cleft of my, um, up over my upper lip, and I also like to contour it with my nose. It just gives a softer look and it's not as dark or as harsh. Now this one right here is a cult classic. This is Mac's Whisper of Guilt um, Skin Finish Highlighter. And this was a part of the Mac Snowball Collection of Winter 2017. And this was in the limited edition packaging.
this is also my current obsession when it comes to blushes. I have been stuck on these Cover Effect blushes for at least two months now. Um, this one is in the shade Warm Honey. And it's a monochromatic blush duo. It has a matte and a shimmer side. It is so gorgeous. Some of the concealers and the powders took away the shade on my lower lash line. So I'm going back into my palette and I'm picking up the shade Cha 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 so that I can line my lower lash line with this shade. Time to get those lips popping. I'm using a lip liner by NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil called Espresso. It's a beautiful mid-tone brown to line my lips with. I'm using the Crown Cases Rule Breaker Liquid Matte Lipstick in the beautiful nude shade of Adams to fill in my lips with. I have fallen in love with Buxom Lip Glosses. Yes, they are a little pricey, but they are worth every freaking pity that you spend on these lip glosses. Um, this is their full on plumping lip polish in the shade White Russian Sparkle that I'm going to glide over this lip color to make the lip color shine and pop even more. It's so beautiful. And there you have it guys, another beautiful look created with ColourPop's Cabana Club eyeshadow palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will be hitting you guys regularly with more makeup tutorials and how-tos to come in the near future. Thank you so much for your support. I recently just hit a little over 500 subscribers, so I'm super happy about that. Keep it going, superstars. There's more in store to come. And I will be hanging with you guys more regularly now that I have a break in my schedule. Okay, superstars, thank you so much. Uh, until next time, I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Bye.